Hi, everyone. Welcome to COVID Conversations. I'm Dr. Kelly Donahue. And I'm Dr. Robin Pashby. And today we're going to talk about something that we've seen come up time and time again in the lives of our clients and, of course, in our lives too. Um, and that is continuing to deal with ongoing life stressors while dealing with and navigating the unknowns and the uncertainty of what life looks like for this the rest of the summer and really the fall in a time of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's so many things as um, you may hear banging because there's a plumber in my house <laughs> right now. It's just one tiny example of the daily life stressors just keep going. And yeah. that is, I think people are um, sort of, my clients are saying to me things like, I don't know why I'm just so tired all the time, or I don't know why I'm not getting as much done. I have all this free time. I oh, should yeah. be really productive. And I've been really thinking about that. And I think, how, how could we expect ourselves to be as productive and functional, given that we're navigating all the daily stressors on top yeah. of this gigantic stressor that's out in the world and totally. scaring us yeah. all? Yeah. And I think about it in a couple of different ways. I know we talk about stress coming in like a stress bucket or a stress cup. And so, you know, many of our clients and many of us out there have health conditions or something that's pretty stable in our life that creates stress. So that's in our bucket. And then we add the collective stress at a cultural level from COVID-19 and the unknowns there um, and just what's going on in our world. And then add on that all of the other daily things, like the bucket is going to run over pretty quickly and that leads us to feel stressed. And you know, also when we're in that stress response, it's really hard to, to think about other things and our body goes into the stress response, the stress reaction, which makes us, can make us feel fatigued and irritable mm -hmm. and all those things. And really struggle with attention. Oh my gosh, yeah. Think, right, and that is another piece of this puzzle because if yeah. you're, struggling to sustain attention on things, then you end up getting further behind. Yep. And then that creates another layer of those everyday stressors, right? The laundry right. starts piling up or the dishes are piling up or yeah. whatever it is that is just sort of nagging you, right? You have a, a change yep. the oil light on in your car for the last three months or something. <laughs> um, so all those things just keep coming. Yep. And, um, so what are we going to do about that? That's what I get asked a lot. Yeah. So what? Now what? Right. Well, I think the way that I respond is to one, acknowledge that this is a thing. Mm -hmm. And the reason that you're feeling stressed, tired, overwhelmed is because you're human and you're dealing with yeah. all of these things. And two, to greet that with compassion. So if your friend came to you, Robin, if you came to me and you were like, Kelly, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed. My eyes are strained from looking at the computer. Are you telling day. them what I just said to you 30 <laughs> seconds before we push record? <laughs> we're getting Robin some um, blue light filtering classes. Um, and then, you know, I'm worried about my daughter and all of these things. Of course, I wouldn't say like, suck it up, girlfriend, right? Which is, but that's what we often say to ourselves. Like, just get it together. Come on, you, you can figure this out. Yeah. So to really have compassion, like you would for a friend to say, of course, you're struggling with this. Like, let's take a deep breath and just focus on one thing. Yes. And then I think the focusing on one thing, you know, yeah. it goes back to the three for me um, handout. Oh, and actually, that. you know, we'll put that up on our website, maybe. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. Share that with people. It's just a tiny micro coping worksheet where we ask people to just check in with themselves in three ways, one for your mind, one for your body, and one for your spirit. And so they can be one minute each during the day. And even though that seems so meaningless in, a, in some ways, it's actually really meaningful in terms of managing the balance of that bucket overflowing. Yeah, so we feel you, we see you, we're with you. And, you know, knowing that, that's not going to change how you're feeling, but you, you do know that you're not alone. Yes, yes. So um, join us for the next COVID conversation, and um, we look forward to seeing you then. See you soon.